Hello, this is a Spartan 3E bore for FPGA programming. And uh, on this side is a companion bore for extension that the students can put on small electronics components to do hard wiring like gates logics. And the Spartan bore has a power on switch. So the red light comes on. This is a power plug, and this is a green light that shows the link to the computer, and this is a USB connection. So we're going to start the software. Pick a new project and name it uh, test LCD. Okay, here you've got to change the family to Spartan 3E and the device is XC3S500E the package is FG320 it's a 320 pin chip the speed is negative 4 and pick project new source New source code and a very large module called it the same name. Test LCD. And you're going to just paste in the source code. Module test the LCD. The clock is the master clock input, 50 MHz. SFE is the output strata flash enable. It's inverse logic, so we're going to give it a 1 to disable it. Once we disable that, we can use the LCD as a full axis. And this is the LCD enable, LCD register select, LCD rewrite and the full data bits or command bits as a nibble so these are all outputs eight different outputs one clock input and the onboard pin number is C9, D16 and so forth these are the connections to all these um, SFE and um, LCD enable etc and all these are actually written in the uh, Spartan 3E starter kit, the board user guide. We also have a 27-bit register as the counter driven by the master clock. So we're going to count and know the timing. And there will be 6-bit code. The 6-bit code will be given different signals and then as the output. Then refresh is going to tell us when to uh, send out the code and refresh is depending on the uh, counter which is depending on the input master clock. So always at the rising edge of the clock we're going to up count the counter by one and then using the top six bits as uh, the event so the top six bit, six bits from bit 26 down to 21 give us a 64 different uh, variation uh, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so forth we should give out four different uh, code for the power on in this sequence initialization of the LCD we have to do this otherwise the LCD will retain the previous settings and 
things can go wrong. So we want to clear all the uh, leftover of the incorrect settings. And then we're going to have the function set, which is going to send out the 2 and A being the upper and lower nibbles. And the front zeros is for the rewrite and re -sel register select to be zero. And then the entry mode is set. The entry mode is set to have the position of the cursor increment by itself whenever we put out a character. And shifting is not used. We're not going to let the LCD shift by itself. So we're going to disable the shifting. And so they give us a upper nipple 0, lower nipple 6 in two sending out sequences sequence like this. And all this is in the user guide. Character LCD screen of the Spartan 3E4. The pinouts as well as the tables listing out the two row LCD display data display RAM address. So it says uh, DDR as data display display RAM and those character positions are the addresses. So the top row from 0 to 0 F and then hex 4 0 to 4 F. So there are two rows of displays characters and then one each one is 16 character in length and you have the hidden characters that locations can put down uh, characters codes to be displayed and shifted in later and then as to the character set is listed out in this table here each character is indexed by the the column and row. The column index is the upper data nibble, such as the letter A, uppercase letter A. It will be 0100 as the upper data nibble, and the lower one is 0001. So both of these two nibbles index into this table. So if, if we send to LCD, the character index is 0100 and then 0001, the character A image will show up at where the cursor is. And table 5-3 is the LCD character display command set. Suppose we want to clear the display, we gotta send down the row register select zero, rewrite zero, and the upper nipple zero 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 zero, and then the lower nipple zero 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 one. The two nipples are to be sent in two different sequences, coupled with the LRS and RW. So each time we send out, it's a 6-bit signals, and then another 6-bit signals. And all these are commands to do certain functions with the LCD. Um, initially, the initialization step of the LCD requires these to be set correctly. By entry mode set, we can have the IOD bit to increment or discrement. Disc decrement the cursor position automatically whenever a character is put out is sent to the LCD and the shifting can be enabled or disabled etc. So all these are explained in the menu very well. The right data to DDRAM if we want to send out letter A which is a 0100 followed by 0001 and then we will issue the command write data to DDR 10 zero, zero, one, zero, zero, and then again 10001. Zero, 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 
So after all the initial settings are given to the LCD, and then we're going to clear the display and start to uh, hang out the uh, letters. Like uh, hello, H E L L O, comma, and the H is four and eight in the table to index the column and row. And the two is that uh, register select and rewrite one zero one zero. And then we want to change the cursor position, so it's called a set the DD. R address. If you want to switch it to hex 40 as the uh, beginning of the second row, we send down the 001 as the initial command ID, and then we have 100 as the 4, and then the second time is 00, that's the command ID. And then we had the 0000 as the 0 for the hex for 0. So the upper nibble is 4, the lower nibble is 0. And, and after doing that, we send out the word world, W O R L D, exclamation mark. So top 6 bits can give us R38 through 63. Then we do nothing, so we send out. A really busy signal that's one microsecond each to execute so basically it does nothing and we do this not all the time upon the rising edge of the master clock that would be too fast what we want to do is to have a um, period we're going to give the code to the LCD module and then a period to not to give it to the LCD module. The flip flop refresh is true, set true when bit 20 of the 27 bit count is set to be 1. And this bit is flipping at the rate about 20 times a second. And so it's 27 bit counter and being up counted at 50 megahertz so every time that the count is from 0 to 2 meg this bit is going to become 1 and then another 2 meg count will uh, remain 1 until another 2 bit count it comes back to 0 so it's flipping 50 times from 0 to 1, 1 to 0 but it stays to be 0 uh, half of the time and 1 half of the time so it's basically uh, 1 12.5 of a second that stays on 1 and another 1 12.5 of a second stays to be 0. And this is the time we're going to let refresh to give out to the enable port to the LED LCD enable coupled with other 6-bit code and the SFE which is going to disable the strata flash memory is always set 1 for the inverse logic we save this file and then we compile by double clicking the configure target device so as we will go through synthesize XST implement design generate programming file and come to configure target device. There you will stop. This window pops up and OK. And over here we double click this boundary scan and right click or right click to initialize the chain and that scans the board to find three chips and has this yes and double click on the test lcd.bit file and they asked 
example SPI or BPI prompt no and bypass this and another bypass and OK this one and then right click on the and then on the program select the program and you see the first chip becomes green as well once you click on that program this board will load the program so here I right click on the program and loading progress will also show and it goes really fast and the program is loaded and running when the program is loaded there's a yellow light that comes on and the running will also start